All right, so we again, like I said, we did skip one three, so we're going to go right to one four. And let me just make sure this writes. Okay, good. All right, remember we, uh, we talked about lines a whole lot. Let's just review that briefly, especially on that homework. When we went over the homework, we talked about the lines, how to name them, and all that kind of stuff. So a line, okay, it's, it's a straight line. He didn't define a word. Well, you can't really define it. But anyway, it's straight. It's a series of points that are just one after another after another, and it keeps on going. That's what I want to uh, concentrate on here. It keeps on going in which direction? In both directions, okay? The line could be slanted, right? It doesn't always have to go horizontal like I just drew it at first. It could go like this. It could point any direction, all right? But if you got errors on both ends, it keeps on going in both directions. And just, again, a brief little review. What if I call this AB? Then I would call this what? Line AB. How do I write that? I put AB, put the line like that. That's line AB. Everybody got it? What if I put another letter on here? Could I still call it line AB? Do I have to use all three points? No, I just use two. I only use two. Okay, it's not a suggestion. It's I absolutely only use two points. Okay, I could have called it what else? Not just AB. I could have called it AC if I wanted to. You could always go backwards too. All right, but AC you could call it as well. Now what we're going to do right now is we're going to talk about another thing, and it's called array. Now, array is a little bit different. It's got some similarities to a line, but it's got one huge difference. A line kept on going where? In, in both directions, okay? Kept on going infinitely in both directions. But array only goes forever in what? In one direction, okay? So it has like a starting point, or it's got a place that's on the end, right? This is, this is a point on the end of the ray. Is there an end in this direction? No, because it keeps on going infinitely, uh, infinitely, okay? There's never an end on this direction, but there is an end right here. And in fact, it's a point that's on the end, so guess what we call it? We don't call it a point end. We call it a end what? Point, good. All right, so that's an end point. So it has a beginning. Even though it's called end, it's kind of like the beginning of the ray. It's where it starts, all right? And it keeps on going, keeps on going forever in that one direction. Everybody good with that? All right. That endpoint's really important. That's why I put that little name, endpoint, because when we name array, we always start at the beginning, start at the endpoint. Okay, so when you name array, you have to start at that point. So let's call this A and let's call this B. All right. So if you were going to name this ray, what would you name it? Ray what? A, B. That's right. I couldn't just say ray A. Because I don't know if I'm going like this direction, that direction, this direction, that direction. Okay, I got to start at the beginning, start at A, and then you got to name one more point that it goes through. You hear what I just said? You start at the beginning, which is the end point. You have to start there. And then you got to name one more point that that ray goes through. Well, B is the only point that I know on here, right? So it must go through B. So I have to call it ray AB. I cannot. Do like we did when we had lines. I can't call it ray BA. This right here is not ray BA. What is it? Ray it's ray AB. All right, so here's how I do it. I put an AB, then here's the symbol for ray. It's just like an, uh, a line symbol, but it's only got one arrow, all right? And we always, it doesn't matter which direction our, air, our ray actually goes, we always write a ray like this. It's always to the right, okay, so I could, Watch, what if I had a ray going down like this, right? Call this P, Q, all right? So what would I call this ray right here? Ray what? Ray P, Q. But do I do, I do this since it's slanted that way? Nope. I always, every single time, no matter which direction your ray goes, I always write the ray symbol like that. Don't write it to the left. Don't slant it. It always goes to the right. Yep, even though this ray is going in this direction, when I name the ray, this is how I always write it. Doesn't matter what direction that ray goes or it points. I always write, uh, I always write that ray going like that. Okay? It's always, that arrow is always to the right. Everybody go to that? All right, let's throw something else in here. We kind of did this with the line, so let's do this with the ray. What if I put a C in there? 
Remember what I said though, with a ray and a line, how many points do we only use? We only use two, so I'm not gonna use all three. Because what if I had like 17 points on that line, right? I don't wanna write 17 letters down. That would be pain, wouldn't it? So where do I always start? Start, start at the end point. So I could call this ray. I still could call it ray AB if I wanted to, why? Because it starts at ray and it does what? It doesn't end at B, what does it do? It goes through B. So if it goes through B and keeps on going, it's also gonna go through what? C, all right? But what's another way I could call it? I could also, I'll put it or, I could call it ray AC. These are the same exact rays, the same exact ones. They both start at A and they go through B and they go through C. Everybody got it? Don't use all three points, all right? Just use two points when we're doing this. We good with that? All right. Um, I almost skipped this last period, but I didn't, so I'm just gonna do it this time. This, as far as you guys are concerned, you could probably just skip this. You don't see this very much, but I'm just gonna go through it very quickly. Um, let's call this, uh, I don't know, P, Q, let's put a R, or let's put a Q right there, PQR, okay? All right, what I'm gonna do right now is look at Q compared to P and R. What would you say? Like if you had to describe that for somebody, you would say Q is what in, in reference to P and R? What would you say? Okay, it's closer to R. Is it in the middle? Uh, you can't say it's in the middle. We will talk about that later on, about being in the middle, but not right now. I, I purposely drew it so it didn't look like it was in the middle. All right? It is closer to R, it's further away from P, but in general, more, more general, it's what? It's in, like if I had two people here and I had somebody, no, I would say that they were between. Between is the word I'm looking for, okay? That's all right. So between, so I would say that point Q is what? is between points P and R. Guys, I'm up here talking and I'm teaching. You should not be talking. Thank you, unless you're answering a question. So Q is between P and R, all right? Now, if I had, if like QR went off at an angle, I would not say that Q is between it, all right? Only if I got a straight line, or in this case, well, we'll talk about that later. This is actually a line segment. We talked about that when we did the answers, but um, Q is between P and R. Did I do line segment yet? No, that's coming up. All right, so I could do this. I could draw this. What is that blue thing that I just drew right there? I put a point here and my blue one went right there. What, what would I call that thing? It's a ray, yeah, because it has an end point. It keeps on going in one direction. You with me? And then, what if I do this? At that same point, I put that there, and then, all right, Terrell, I can't take it anymore. Give it to me. Give it to me. Put it up on my desk. Don't ask me what. Put it on my desk. You hear what I'm saying. Put it on my desk right now. Put it on my desk. How many times do I have to tell you? Do it right now. No, that's not my desk. Apparently you don't know what a desk is. No, you're not gonna throw it. You're gonna stand up, you're gonna come over here, and you're gonna place it on my desk. Do that for me. Still not my desk, but that'll do. It's disrespectful to do what I ask you to do. I'm, I'm not going to have this conversation. Sit down. <sighs> Sorry. So these two things are rays. I got ray what? Let's put this in white instead of the colors. What is this blue ray called? QR. QR. Ray QR. Let's say ray in front of it. So that's ray QR. What is this pink ray called? Ray QP. All right. And again, even though it's going to the left, I still write this going to the right, okay? Everybody with me? We call these opposite rays. And you'll see that once in a while. They're opposite 
rays. Obviously, because they go in opposite directions. Now, if this thing like slanted up, it would not be an opposite ray. It's only opposite if the two rays make a straight line, okay? If the two rays make a straight line, we call them opposite rays. So QR and QP are opposite rays. A couple times, not often, but every once in a while, they'll talk about opposite rays, okay? Not a lot, so I'm gonna stop talking about that. The next one is really important. We're gonna be talking about this all year long. What's the difference between this and a line and array? What's the difference between it? The end, right. It ends at both points, okay? Both endpoints. So it's got two endpoints. We already said that with array. So this thing has an endpoint. And it has another endpoint over here. I'll just put EP for endpoint. Is that all right? And this thing is called a line segment. A line segment has a beginning, it's got an end. It's got two endpoints, okay? It doesn't keep on going forever and ever. Can I measure a line segment? A line segment? Oh, yeah. yeah, if it's got a beginning and an end, if I had a long enough measuring tool, okay, yeah, I could, uh, I could measure it, all right? So line segments can be measured. Can you measure a, a line? Can you measure a ray? No, because it keeps on going, at least in one direction, right? So you can't keep measuring forever and ever. But on a line segment, absolutely. So here's how we would name it. Again, we'll use A and B again. So the two endpoints are A and B. So if I was going to name the line segment, I think you, you got this first part of it. What would I put? A what? A, B. And here's the symbol. It's just a straight line with no arrows on it. Don't put any dots on the end. You don't have to put dots on the end because you got dots over here or points there. That's what it would look like. That right there tells me it's a line segment. That tells me that A is the endpoint and B is the endpoint. That's what it tells me. Okay? Or... I could go the other way. This way, like array, it absolutely mattered which one was first. On a line, doesn't matter. On a line segment, what? Doesn't matter. Okay, so I could call it ray, or line segment AB, or I could call it line segment what? BA. All right, either one of those, I could call it that. All right, pretty easy. Yeah, what if I put a C in here? Tell me something about line segment AC. Is it the same as line segment AB? No. no, it's different, isn't it? It's a completely different line segment. Even though it shares a lot of line segment AB, it's not the same exact line segment, okay? Yeah, I put it in between. Yep, C is between A and B. But if I talk about line segment AB, I'm still just talking about that whole thing, okay? If I talk about line segment AC, which one am I talking about? I'm talking about that. What's another line segment on here? Yeah, line segment CB. They're all three different line segments. Okay, they're not the same. All right, this one right here. That's another line segment. All right, they could be different numbers. Like, let's say that was five, this was two. What would line segment AB be equal to? Seven, right. Everybody see that? So I could measure this, I could measure this, and they together they become seven. What if this is super easy now that I already did that. What if the whole thing was 7 and line segment AC was 5? What would CB be? It would, that would be 2. Just do some math. That's where we're going to get doing some math, okay, on this chapter, all right? Because they're not always going to be just easy numbers like that. What do you think they're going to throw in there? Like Xs. They're not negatives because you can't have a negative line segment, okay, because you can't measure something negative, all right? Um, but we could put some Xs in there. Right? I could say this segment is 3x plus 2. This segment is 2x plus 1. What is this segment? Well, you would add them up right? and then set them equal to this. We'll get to that, just not right now. Okay? All right, everybody go to the line segment. All right, let me see what else we got here. Let me flip the page. Uh, there's a couple things on here I'm going to skip. I'm going to jump down to this next one. And since you already know what array is, this next thing is a combination of two rays. So I've got a ray right here, and then I've got another ray. Now watch what I'm doing. I'm not just drawing just any random ray, okay? I'm starting at that endpoint to that ray. Everybody see that? See what I did? 
I connected the endpoints of both rays together. So they have a common endpoint. Write that down. I didn't do that in the other class. Should have. Common endpoint. And we have a name for that common endpoint. And we're going to be using this quite a bit throughout the year. It's a very common word. We're going to be using it a lot. All right? We call that a vertex. Okay? The vertex of this thing is that common endpoint, right? Where the two rays come together, right? At their endpoints. Okay? That's called the vertex. That's very, very important. What's this whole thing called? The combination of those two rays with a common endpoint. It's an angle, all right? This is an angle. I know you've heard of angles before. In football, they talk about it, right? Take the right angle, hit them this way, hit them that way, B gap, A gap, all that kind of stuff. We talk about angles all the time, okay? That's what it is. It's, it's an angle. It's two rays coming together at a common vertex. Everybody got it? Um, let's talk about a couple other things. Uh, let's name it. Let's call this A, B, and C. Now, just like a ray, it was very, very important. When you describe a ray, what was the most important thing to do on a ray? Is what had to go first? The endpoint. The endpoint had to go first. On an angle, we're going to use three letters. Okay, we're going to use three letters, and the vertex has to be the middle letter. Everybody hear me on that, right? That's super important, all right? The vertex has to be the middle letter. I'm going to pick on my honors geometry class again. I had a couple kids. They had to write angles, write the names of certain angles, but they wrote it incorrectly. They, they meant this angle, A, B, C, but they wrote what? A, C, B. That's not this angle. This angle is not A, C, B. This angle is not B, A, C, all right? What is this angle? A, B, C. The vertex has got to be where? In the middle. You could also call it what? CBA. That's right. That's perfectly fine as well. Now we have a symbol. Okay, we got symbols for all kinds of stuff. Here's what the symbol looks like. It looks like a little angle like that. And put it next to it. Again, my poor geometry class, honors geometry, is getting slammed the last two classes. I had a kid in the, in the uh, last class put the angle up here, above it like that. I don't want it above it, okay? The angle symbol must be to the left. I don't know why he put it above because I never ever do that. But he put it above it. I didn't mark it wrong, but I probably should have, <laughs> all right? So the angle is here. So what does this mean? This means angle ABC. What do I know about the vertex of this angle without even looking at the picture? I know the vertex of that angle is what? Is point B, that's right, okay, just by looking at it. Do you see these two rays that make up that angle? They're called sides of the angle. Okay, so that's a side and that's a side. And they're gonna ask you some questions with the word side in there. So you gotta make sure that you know that. Two more little things and we'll be finished. I ran out of time in last class and I ran out of time in this class for the last example. But uh, you could look at the example on your own. It's on there, it's on page uh, 21. It's example three, all right? I just ran out of time to get to it. But let's say you had a point inside of the angle. See how the angle goes this way, right? Any point inside the angle, we call those interior points. And they're gonna refer to that every once in a while. They're interior points because they're inside of the angle. What if I put a, a point out here? These are called exterior. Very good. All right. So exterior points. And again, they will refer to interior and exterior points. And you got to know what they're talking about. There's going to be a question on the quiz and test. And I'm going to ask you to name the interior points and the exterior points. Okay. Now, I think for the most part, if you look at example three, um, or if you wanted to, if you were really, if you were a really good student and you really wanted to learn this stuff, what you could do is go to the honors geometry page, right? Go on my YouTube, find the honors geometry, go to this section one four, and I do that example on there. Okay. So if you if you get to the homework, you're like, oh, this looks like that example. I don't understand it. Then go to the YouTube page, go to the honors geometry on section one four and just slide to the end. You don't have to watch the whole thing. Slide to the very end of it, and I'll do that example on there, okay? So you could always find it. We just ran out of time today. But you do have a homework. 
And um, it's on your lesson plans. So it's, uh, it's section 1-4, pages uh, 21 and 22. And it's 1 to 12. Hopefully, if you're leaving now, you have your lesson plan thing. 1 through 12 and 39 to 42. Okay? 1 through 12, 39 to 42. Make sure you do the right section because we skipped 1 3. Okay? Don't do 1 3. Do 1 4, pages 21 to 22. It's on RenWeb, it's on YouTube, and it's on the uh, paper that I handed you on Monday. So there should be no reasons for you not to do this. What's that? Sure.